I think it's a, it's a good thing that my heritage is being recognized by the Air Force. Not mine in particular, but just that Native Americans are remembered in general. Because uh, there's not all, all that many of us and we tend to get forgotten about. To be able to share Native American culture, I'll just answer a few of the questions that I'm generally asked when the people find out I'm Native American. First one is, are you a tribal member? And the answer is yes, I belong to Sisman Wapiton, uh, Sioux, or Oyate. And uh, that's all nice and good and a large series of sounds that go together, but uh, I have to usually back up from that and say, well, I'm Sioux. The problem with doing that is uh, Sioux wasn't a label that we actually put on ourselves. The uh, Chippewa actually gave us the name Sioux because they're the ones that the white settlers ran into first. And they're like, all right, and the guys next over the hill you're going to meet are the Sioux, the little snakes. They were a little mad at us because once the horse was introduced to North America, we were better at riding it and were able to carve out a territory from uh, Nebraska all the way up into Canada and from Minnesota and Iowa all the way up to uh, Min or Montana. There we go. And so consequently, Sioux is actually made of three different, type, three different peoples. You have the Lakota, Dakota, and Nakota. They all share a same, similar language group. Uh, think of the difference of being like uh, Austrian or German or a, uh, here. Yeah, it's just, it, language is the same, but it's a little bit different. So, and my tribe it was actually originally two tribes, the Sisseton and the Wapiton. They uh, combined together and became the Sisseton, Wapiton, Oyate, or people. So another question I'm often asked is, do you have an Indian name? And yes, I do have an Indian name. It's Makabia Wichasta. Makabia is cloud, Wichasta is to touch, so I'm touch the clouds. And I managed to join the Air Force, imagine that. Native Americans have been in uh, the U.S. military uh, since before the United States was a country. So, and since then, even though that Native Americans weren't actually U.S. citizens until the end of World War I, we've served in every major war. And it's, uh, it's a point of honor because if you are going to protect something, you may as well protect uh, your own homeland. And Native Americans, we don't have another homeland to protect. I think it's important for us to celebrate our heritage in every area, especially in areas where it's a part of uh, America's history and how we came to be. I always enjoy sharing music with other people because it touches their soul and their heart and makes them a better person. <laughs>